cuties, welcome back to my YouTube channel or hello there if you have not been here before. My name is Emma Bier and as you can tell for this video, I am going to be showing you how I recreated this Cheshire cat look. Um, it's obviously the Cheshire cat from Alice in Wonderland. So yeah, if you want to know how I got this look, please keep watching. So to start off with this look, I've already primed my face and the first thing I'm going to do while you're zoomed in is because I'm going to go in with my eyes. Now the first thing I'm going to take is my e.l.f. eye primer, which looks like this. I'm just going to put that over my eyes and then blend it in with my finger. And once that's all blended in, we're going to go in with my eyeshadow. Now for this, I'm going to take a couple of different palettes. The first palette I'm going to take is the Amethyst Obsessions palette by Hula Beauty. I'm going to take this colour as my transition shade. And then with my fluffy blending brush, I'm going to take that and lightly put that over my crease. And then to go in and sort of deepen it up a bit, I'm going to go in with this colour again from the same palette. And then with my pencil brush, I'm going to go in and just deepen up the crease in the outer corner of my eye. Once that's done, I mean it looks insane right now, I'm going to go in with this colour and we're going to almost do like an um, ombre effect inwards of sort of like metallic -y shades. So the first one I'm going to be taking is this colour which is just an amazing colour and it is from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. And then with this sort of blending, stippling type um, brush from Real Techniques in London. I'm going to take that and just put that over the outer corner of my eye. And then with the same brush, I'm going to be going with this pink colour from the Too Faced Gold Chocolate Palette. I'm going to be doing that the next stage of the eye. And then once you're sort of happy with that, I'm then finally going to go in with this colour from the Huda Beauty Amethyst Obsessions palette. And then just lightly with my finger, because Huda says that that's the best way to apply these shadows, I'm just going to put that in the inner corner. And I feel like eyeshadow wise, I'm happy with that. Um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in with a liquid liner and I'm going to go in the one with, by e.l.f. and I'm just going to do like a line across the top with a little wing. And the liner looks like this. And once the eyeliner is on, I'm then going to go apply some fake eyelashes. And these are the Ilior Dramatic 126 lashes. As I've said before, I find lashes a little bit difficult because they're quite pernickety. Um, so I'm going to go do my lashes off camera and also clean up under my eyes. And when I'm done, I'll be back. So now that my lashes are on and that everything's done kind of like there, um, I'm going to go in and do my skin. Now with that, I'm just going to take my foundation, which is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation in the colour 3D3W. And then with a the beauty blender, I'm just going to apply that to the skin. Now because we've got the sort of massive smile, I'm only going to kind of go up to here because there's no point in putting foundation on and then, well, taking it off again, really. And then I'm just going to go in with some concealer. With that, I'm going to take the Lasting Radiance by Rimmel in the colour Ivory. And then I'm going to go in with a powder and I'm going to go in with my Trusty Essence Matte Powder and then my fluffy, blend, blah, 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 fluffy powder brush, crikey, and just lightly put that over. And then because the lips are sort of coming out here, I'm going to contour a little bit just so you can see that I've contoured. And with that, I'm going to be taking this bronzer by the Beauty Crop. It's in the colour Sardinia Sand. And then my contour brush. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go with my brows. And with that, I'm going to take a couple of different products. I'm going to be taking the Brow Gel Plus in the colour 2 by Benefit. 
And I'm just going to lightly put that over my brows, just sort of as a first coat. And then with my Brow Zings palette, also from Benefit, and then also again in the shade number two, I'm going to take the little brush that it comes with and sort of draw in my brows until they're looking the thickness and the shape that I want them to. <laughs> I'm very well aware they're not even, they never are. They are not twins, they are sisters. So, it is what it is. The next thing we're gonna go in and do, because we've kind of done the eye area now, is I'm gonna go and do the nose. And with that, I'm gonna be taking my Makeup Forever palette, and I'm gonna be taking these two colors and mixing them to a nice little purpley color. And once I've kind of got the colour that I want, which is literally pink with a tiny bit of blue in it, I'm just going to go in with my tiny little paint brush, which is this beauty. And I'm just going to go and paint that onto my nose. <laughs> like this but I'm going to add a few little details so with that I'm going to take a tiny bit of white with the same tiny little paintbrush and just draw sort of like a little highlight type line across so now that my nose is done I almost feel like a bit more like a pig to be honest on a cat but there we go I'm going to go and outline again with my Snazaroo face paint to do that we're just going to take a tiny bit of water water and then by dipping the same tiny little paintbrush into the water and then just go and outline where you want the smile to be. And then when you've got your line on, I'm gonna then go in and draw out like my teeth to be. So I think that's gonna make it easier to sort of fill in. So okay if you make mistakes as well because obviously you're gonna go in with a black anyway. So I made this tooth too big. I'm just going to go in and correct that. And once you've got the teeth drawn on like this, I think it's easy for me actually to go in with the white first and then I can always sort of make it look better with the black afterwards. So with that, I'm going to take, as again, another Snazaroo face paint in the, obviously the colour white. And then with this tiny little sort of lip pencil from MAC, I'm just going to go in and paint the teeth on. So now that I've kind of done my teeth, I know they look a bit messy at the top and that's just because I think it's going to be easier just to make them really, really white and then go in over the top. I'm now going to go in and fill in all the black. are done I'm gonna go in and show a final few last details like whiskers some hairlines and then I think we're done <laughs> Some little hairlines under my eyes but there you have it Cheshire Cat hope you've enjoyed the last week full of Halloween tutorials this is the last one I really hope you've enjoyed it thank you all for watching and see you soon